So, uh, tell us about your child. I hear him barking down the hallway that, for you. Is he out there? Yeah, that's he Sammy is. Henderson. He's my right hand man. He's my child. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's my child. He, so he was in the film actually. He was. He plays Cypress, the family dog. Oh. Patricia Regan, the director of the movie, when I went and met her at her house, yeah. I had Sammy with me, and she goes, you know, the character has dogs in the movie. Why don't yeah. we use your real dog? And, you know, I think it'd be cool. And right. so I was very thrilled to He's going to gonna have his paws down the Hollywood The Hollywood, of exactly, <laughs> yeah. Or at the very least, he's going to start paying his way. Oh, there you go, yeah. right? He's going to start helping out with rent. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, I'm going to dive right into my first question. This film was such an emotional roller coaster, right? Was it easy for you to, after wrapping on set, to go home and just gather yourself, or did you have a few moments that you couldn't just, you know, that you just had a difficult time dealing with? No, I didn't, because I, from the moment I finished the script, and I, I cried when I read the script, and that mm -hmm. was part of what, for me, was an indicator of how powerful the story could be, and so mm -hmm. why I wanted to engage and, and try to get a job. Um, I, but I also, by the time I finished it, it was such an up, such an uplifting story. You can't watch this and not be affected in a positive way. As, as right. sad as moments are in the movie and how grueling it can be, it leaves you with a, such a sense of hope mm -hmm. and and faith. And I think knowing that that's the story we were telling, I I, I was fine with going to work, cry my eyes out, feel those really you know difficult feelings, uh, and then. I, when I went home, I, I felt like it was just a, it was a positive thing, not not a not a right. tough thing. I I mean I don't know how your faith was before this film, but would you definitely say that this film enhanced your faith and and your you know everyday motivation? To it's yeah. Look, it's one of the things I think for me, f my faith is constantly bolstered or diminished depending on where I put my focus, and I get to choose every day to see my life as a miracle, mm -hmm. to see the people that love me, that support me, my agents, my mom, my dad, my friends, mm -hmm. my home, my dog. Mm -hmm. I get to view all of that and go, I did nothing to create any of this, but it's in my life. Right. And, and Or if I see a movie like this or I read a script like this, it's one more thing that just helps me bolster the faith that I already have in life itself. Um, and conversely, if I don't engage in story, if I don't hear stories like this, if I don't bother to look around at the things I have and be grateful, I can start to feel like I don't have faith and start mm -hmm. to see what I'm lacking. So, so right. yeah, I think um, hopefully this is just part of that conversation about, you know, what, what do you think is a miracle? What are right. you grateful for? Right. And now in the film, they had, you know, there's always going to be someone that just, you know, tries to damper the situation, throw out their negative energy and comments on, sure. you know, someone's story and journey. What advice can you give to people that, you know, they hear negative ne negativity around them, you know, and they're just trying to move forward with their faith and, you know, move forward? Stay positive, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I do, and it's a good question because I can have those same, same voices in my own head. Mm -hmm. I can get fearful of a situation very quickly. Yeah. And so it doesn't necessarily always come from outside of ourselves, too. Right. So, uh, and in those moments, uh, that's the real challenge. You know? right. I, don't, I don't think a life based on faith is... It's like, oh, I have faith, so now everything's easy. No, mm -hmm. it, it actually requires more of you because mm -hmm. you have to overcome the adversity and in, hopefully we don't have to have the, this degree of adversity that the characters did in the movie but it might just be some dissenting voice or some negative influence in your life right and that requires strength of character to, to actually turn a deaf ear and and right. not pay attention and not buy into that but i certainly think it helps to have a community of people that also have a like-minded perspective mm -hmm. that can I, keep you going so yeah yeah i yeah. think that's vital i stay I, positive I, yeah you, you have to do it in in community, uh, at least yeah. that's my experience. Right, yeah, exactly.